trash, garbage. The lure is of very low quality. Don't spend your money. This reel is not a good reel. <laughs> I mean, you can see how freaking wonky this thing is. Oh, look at what's happening. Dude. Oh, I cast it off. Oh, it no. Oh, 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 it's blowing back on me. Oh, I got him. Oh. Welcome back to another video, folks. So we are standing in front of Walmart. We're in front of Walmart. We're gonna be going into this Walmart looking for the worst rated fishing gear. You might be surprised how many badly rated things are in this store. Then we're gonna take all this worst rated gear back to my backyard fishing pond and see if they're rated accurately. If you guys like this type of video, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button. If you get 10,000 likes in this video, we will do this challenge at a different store like Academy, Bass Pro, Dick Sporting Goods, whatever you guys want. Let's get inside. Gonna have to be incognito with our filming. Walmart does not like it when you film in here. And they're recording us right now. They even tell you. They don't even try to hide it. So I have scouted out a few different fishing items that are incredibly poorly reviewed. The reason why we're doing this is because we get the luxury of using high quality gear all the time. Sometimes it's fun to deviate from that and to really see what all is out there in the world. The first product is a fishing reel. It's a Fluger Monarch spinning reel. Let's see if we can find this thing. There's some Flugers. I am seeing some Flugers. I think that's it. Apparently the old Fluger Monarch is not the best spinning reel that's ever been existed. This thing only has six reviews, but it has an average of only two stars out of five possible. So, oh shoot. They're on to us. Crap. Dude. What is happening? They're on to it. So this thing right here has an average two out of five stars. Let's dive a little bit deeper into it though, shall we? Okay, so here we go. I got a two star review right here from old Logan. I think that's Logan Anderson fishing? Most likely, Dude, yeah. Dude, come on. You're better than that, Logan. I trust Fluger and their ability to make quality fishing reels. That's the only reason I gave this a two stars instead of one. That's Ooh. a bad start. This reel is not a good reel. <laughs> I thought I'd give it another chance, so I bought another one for myself. That was a mistake. Only my third time using it and it broke. There's another two star review. Don't go near salt water. I have several Fluger reels and have no problem with them, but the screws rusted after a couple uses. <sighs> Ooh, what's well, a $43 Fluger I mean... at Walmart? It might not have stainless steel parts. I'm just saying. There's also two different one star reviews. One of them just says, not good. I bought two and both drags are not functioning. That's not great. Another one says not worth it in my opinion. I've been using this reel for about two months and I regret not buying an Abu Garcia or a Luz instead. Man, that hurts. You didn't deserve that. This little guy no. does not deserve that type of punishment. We're gonna find out though. So I've got another fishing reel here with a kind of a similar situation. Now this thing is only $23, so half the price of the reel we just looked at. This is a Shakespeare excursion. Oh wow, and the packaging is already open. I almost cut my hand off. This thing right here averages 3.5 out of five stars, so somehow higher rated than the twice as expensive Fluger. That's a little confusing. First review I've got, not for bigger fish above six pounds. Broke off my rod after fighting a 12 pound gar. I mean, to be fair, a 12 pound gar, yeah. I mean, that's a hard fighting fish and this is a $23 reel. Here's another one, this just says junk. <laughs> it's junk. I use this reel for one month and the handle shaft bent. I was fishing for smallmouth, walleye, and panfish. Do not buy. Here's another one, one star review. Loose screws. Screw attaching bail to part with line guide wheel kept coming loose. I'm not sure what that means. Here's another one, it says garbage. I bought this reel and the drag mechanism was broken. Unable to adjust the drag whatsoever, useless. Whew, this is bad. We now have a couple different fishing reels to play with here. 
All right, football fans, listen up. This is your last weekend to get your NFL bets in because Super Bowl 58 is coming up. And I've teamed up with DraftKings Sportsbook, and now is the time for you to take your shot at big payouts. DraftKings is offering all new customers $200 of instant bonus bets when you place a $5 bet on literally anything. That's right, folks. All you have to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now for free. Use my promo code LOJO when signing up. Place a $5 bet on literally anything and boom, you get $200 of instant bonus bets. There are many different ways you could use that $200 in bonus bets, but what I would suggest is doing a same game parlay, which is making multiple bets within the same game that give you a chance at an even bigger payout. Remember, if sports betting is not yet legal in your state, DraftKings still has you covered with things like daily fantasy. Whether you're a new customer or an old customer, it doesn't matter, folks. DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered. And it's time to get in on the action. I know me personally, I cannot wait to sit down on the couch, watch Super Bowl 58, make a little same game parlay bets along the way. I hope you guys will join me there. Big shout out to DraftKings Sportsbook for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. So we're looking for a Shakespeare excursion spinning fishing rod. So it's blue and white. I guess that's it right there. Oh, this thing right here is one of the worst reviewed rods in Walmart. It has an average of 2.3 out of five stars. Now, it's hard to be rated that low as a spinning rod. The first one is all caps, unhappy which I love. Bought it a week ago, added a protection plan, smart move. Caught the first fish on it this past week and I set the hook and the tip broke in two places. When you paid $22 for this, you enter into a non-verbal contract <laughs> with the manufacturer, understanding that it's not that good. Here's another one, a two-star review. That's a slight upgrade. Well, a great price, unfortunately, left this little cliffhanger there. My first fishing that I caught with my new pole broke it. Disappointing since the fish didn't even weigh one pound. That sounds like a normal fishing day for me. Not the quality I was expecting the pole to break near the rod slot. And that's really all there is. But apparently when you catch a fish with it, this thing explodes. Next thing we're looking for is an actual rod and reel combo. And this is a bait caster combo that costs $39.99. I didn't even know there was a bait casting combo anywhere for $39.99. No. This is it, I found it. So this is an Ozark Trail bait casting combo for less than $40. Look at that thing right there. The six foot six medium, I guess, medium action. So this thing has an average of 3.4 out of five stars. First review is a two star review and it says decent for cranking, not much else. Personally, I would spend more money to get a higher quality setup. The reel definitely gets the job done, but I'm not sure how much longer it will last. It makes an awful noise from time to time, even after lubricating, you guys kind of get the point. The rod is very noodly. Let me check. That's a noodly rod. Yeah. I have nothing good to say about the rod. Very nice. Oh boy. And there's a lot more bad ones where that came from. Here's a one star review that says, don't buy. Tip broke the first time I used it. I mean, that is a theme with these uh, Walmart yeah. rods. Here's another one star review that says, Worthless. Spend money and buy better. No matter how I adjusted it, line would always get tangled up. Very poor quality. $39.99, yeah. man. I mean, it's a combo. Come on. Here's another one. One star review. Trash. Garbage. Purchase two of these rods. Horrible reel. Absolutely horrible. Once Cass's line got tangled up, no matter what setting you set it on, return both rods to Walmart. Woof. There are still more one star reviews, folks. We're not even halfway through. No. Didn't work at all. He just says, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> More often than not, I find Walmart brands are of decent quality. I would agree with that. Yeah. Was hoping for the same okay quality when I picked up this bait casting combo. I saw some very good reviews too. Where were you looking, bro? All I see is no bad kidding. reviews. Seems the reel does not have brakes at all compared to an inexpensive cast king day and night. Ooh, horrible pull. Don't buy it. Terrible combo, do not buy this combo. Terrible rod. And finally, we have Josh saying, after my second cast with this rod, I caught a two pound bass, and can you guess it? The rod snapped in three places. This is gonna be fun. This is a good old fashioned proficiency. Tiny pocket combo. I have a serious question. Who on planet Earth is buying this and expecting it to hold up against anything no one this thing does have an average of 3.7 out of five stars Dang. so it's not exactly terrible look at my fingers on the reel here i mean yeah. this is a tiny tiny little combo one star review 
don't waste your money. Another one star review, poor delivery and construction. I'm guessing they got it delivered. Oh, and it arrived broken. Sorry about that, Faye. Another one star review, reel went straight in the trash. Says the combo was okay, but the reel was just not it. These are all the, these are the next four one star reviews. It came broken, the reel sucks, it's horrible, and just don't buy it. Another one star review, very disappointed. The idea is great, however, this rod was poorly implemented. Look how small it is. Yeah. What, how do you implement a tiny rod better than this? Sha! Oh, I extended it a little bit. Ooh. Hold on, I'm not ready for you yet, buddy. And then just a bunch of other one star reviews saying, do not buy this, reel went in the trash. Oh, that's two people that said the Dang. reel went in the trash. What are you gonna do with this rod after you take the reel off and put it in the trash? What are you gonna do with this thing? Scratch Nothing. your back with it? Yep, that's about right. Back scratcher? Or like a s'mores stick, you know? Hey, it'd be good for that. I might dream <laughs> Look at how tiny that little thing is what right even there. What is it? It's a 1 16th ounce like minnow jerkbait oh. by Ozark Trail. This thing has 68 reviews, Dang. but there are some negative ones in there. Avoid the small 1 16th ounce version. That's what we got right there. Nice. No wiggle at all. It's impossible to cast. Not a good lure. Pretty paint job. No action. I mean, what goes better with a micro combo that's no good? than a micro lure that's no good. I found the next lure, and this is another like surprising lure that's poorly rated. Inline spinner. Come on, folks. How are we poorly reviewing inline spinners these kidding. days? This is a quarter ounce chartreuse inline spinner, and somehow this thing only has 3.7 out of five stars. I've gotten several of these. Some of them don't spin, usually the larger sizes. Must be quality control issues. <sighs> Shots fired at Ozark Trail right yeah. there. Defective design. Walmart should pull them from the shelves. Wow. I better be whispering this stuff right now. Y'all are gonna get me killed. The blade does not spin. The blade does not work. Poor product. Lure came apart on the fourth cast. Junk. I bought three of these. I tried to throw them today and neither one of them would spin. So there's a lot of people claiming that this thing is not a true inline spinner. That's interesting. Wow, so we gotta get a couple of these, right? I might get a couple of different colors in this one. Might as well. This thing right here is a buzz bait. You guys are gonna recognize that. It's a dollar, okay? You know these little containers that they have on the bottom shelves of the Walmart? These little $1 lures have been around for a long time. There's buzz baits in there, spinner baits, all kinds of wire baits. But this one in particular was the poorest reviewed of any of them with a 2.9 out of five star average review. You guys know how I feel about buzz baits, so I need to know why this is so poorly rated. Parts bait only. Not worth it unless you just want it for the skirt. Does not retrieve <laughs> like a buzz bait. It runs under the surface and it doesn't run true. Wow. Why would you just buy this for the skirt? Yeah, that's not right. Lure sucks. The lure is a very low quality. Don't spend your money. I like it when somebody is just direct to the point. You yeah, know? me too. Doesn't work right. One star review. It doesn't work like a buzz bait at all. This swims a few inches underneath the surface. So we've heard that a couple times now. That's not good. Then another one star review by a guy named Braden who didn't care to write his experiences out there. <laughs> oh, it's about to get buzz bait crazy in here, boys. This next one is by far the most perplexingly poor reviewed item because I know for a fact this item's actually good. I'm sure you guys, some of you have heard of the old scum frog. Well, this thing right here, the scum frog is an OG topwater frog lure. This thing has been around for decades, 2.3 star out of five average. How is that possible? That ain't right. This is a one star review that says wrong order sent to me twice. So this person had a problem with the online shopping experience. That's not See, the frog's fault. That's not the scum frog's fault. Here's another one though. One star review, not good. The frogs should float, but they were old and dry rotted and they sink as soon as they hit the water. Really? And those are the only two one star reviews that I could find. Apparently this thing right here, which we've all seen in Walmart a million times, this thing's been around for years. Apparently this thing is not that popular. It has a 3.6 out of five average, which is not the worst, but let's see some of the worst comments. Here's one, one star review. Only three lures, not worth it. This kit comes with basically nothing. It has two jig heads and one crawler harness and a few wiggly things and that's it. Not worth the money. A few wiggly, wiggly things. things. That must be what he's talking about right there. So. And then we've got a bunch of one star reviews where they didn't say anything like Nicholas and Kevin and Trevin? Kevin and Trevin? That sounds sus it right does. there. That's it's a the fake same person. That's a fake review. I mean, there's hooks, there's bobbers, there's a few lures. I'm not even really sure what all is in there, but I mean, it costs $12. If nothing else, you're getting a tackle box for 12 bucks with some stuff in it. So True. I'm just saying, let's be fair here. And on that note, I never knew 
that fish attractant could be so universally hated online than this one right here. It only has two reviews and they are not good. It has an average of three out of five, so I'm guessing one good review, one bad. And it looks like that's the case. We have a person named Soli who gave it a one star review. Is that supposed to mean sorry? I don't know, but it's not very highly reviewed. If nothing else, we can use it to pepper spray an attacking animal today if we come across one. This is so bad. So this thing is already broken. I'm literally trying to rig up the rods and... I'm literally trying to rig up the rods and reels here, and this pocket combo, I see why they said straight to the trash. Yep. Frick. And this is such a small apparatus, too. You don't want to be dropping pieces out of this tiny little thing. So hear me out. So I'm thinking this rod, right, this blue spinning rod, look at how well it's going to match with that fluger right there. Oh, man, you got to go a long ways. Look at that, though. So together, maybe it'll make a really good combo. Maybe. Now for this one, this thing surprised me. Oh wait, listen to that. Ooh. Well, you never like to hear that. If we're gonna pair this one, this is the $22 poorly rated reel. We're gonna link it up with a freaking Guggen Squad black finesse spinning rod. Dude, look at that. That actually looks pretty good. Oh my God. That's a spot for it to be clamped yeah. on like a little kitty rod. Dude, do we get gypped? That's probably why people had such poor reviews on this thing. They're like, dude, where's the rod? I mean, look, there's even space in the yeah. tackle box for the rod to go. Okay, so you do have a pack of power bait and not a whole lot else. Wow, there's really not a lot in there. No, there isn't. That's basically an empty tackle box right there. They at least teach you how to tie a fishing knot. Let's head down to the backyard pond. Let's get some lines in the water. I'm ready to fish. Also guys, remember, if you're looking to get some fishing gear that is not poorly rated, head on over to GuggenSquad.com. You can get everything from Guggen rods, Guggen baits, and Guggen apparel to many of the new releases that we're gonna have this year, like the new Guggen Squad deck boots right here. We have redesigned these things. We made the sides higher for you guys. We added a pull cord in the front as well as the back. They're 100% waterproof, and we added this new color, the gray topo. Mine are a little dirty. Guys, go scoop a pair right now. Use my code LOJO. No matter what you get, you'll get a 10% discount. Let's get down to the pond. I'm gonna take this first rod right here, this first combo. We're gonna turn this into a catfish pole because we have a lot of catfish in this pond and there are some big catfish in this pond. Found some pretty tasty looking bait at Walmart off camera. That's so gross, man. Woo! <laughs> okay, a little fish head on the menu. All right, first cast with the Fluger on the Shakespeare rod. Let's see if she'll go. Not terrible. Not bad, dude. Let's see what this thing's gonna be like. Here we go. Look how springy it is, dude. I don't know about that, man. All right, now for our active fishing combo, because the great part about that little catfish setup is it can just sit right there. We're gonna have a GoPro on it. So if it starts going crazy, we're gonna run over there and grab it. So I decided to use the old casting reel to put that scum frog on. That felt like a, the good thing to do, although it's the middle of the day in the winter time, but hey, you know, whatever. Now this combo, we put the Shakespeare on the finesse Guggen rod. We went ahead and used the Texas rig gear that came out of this little Shakespeare tackle box and the little worm that came out of it too. And then of course the pocket combo, Andrew finally convinced me to not throw this thing in the trash can. And so we rigged it up and put one of those little inline spinners on there. So, <gasps> well, we got this spray. We got to try it, right? I mean, to find out. Oh, Jesus, it's live. Oh, let me just spray the back of the buggy and smell it. Ooh, it came out a little pissy. Oh. Woo! It. Yeah, luckily I'm a <coughs> upwind. Woo. I'm gonna soak this worm in it. Oh, 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 it's blowing back on me. Damn it. Why did I get upwind? Oh, yeah, she is stinky. I really just want to see what this scum frog looks like and why in the world it was getting negative reviews. Let's just toss this thing over here and kind of see. Doesn't really have the best walking action, but it's floating. It's doing what a topwater frog should do. Yeah, I mean, I don't see the problem. By the way, the reel is in the game. I completely forgot to mention that. Yeah, I have not made very many adjustments to this. That was the number one knock on this combo was the, uh, the backlashing. Have to adjust the tension, brakes, 
centrifugals. Let's try to give this thing another rep. Now see, there we go. See, you get her dialed in, it's fine. We're gonna bounce back and forth between the frog rod and this other one that we have the worm on, but I wanna cast this thing. Oh, 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 the wind kind of got me a little bit. Yeah, it did. Yeah, this one is having a little bit of hard time casting. The Fluger casted this line way better. Uh-oh, that reel's starting to make a little bit of noise. Yeah. On the dock boat for some extra anglage. Uh-huh, right back there. Dude, this reel sounds so rough. I've I've casted it four times, dude. Here comes neighbor Daryl. Hey, man. What's going on? Don't call anybody? No, but well, we just got out here. Oh, okay. The Walmart's worst reviewed fishing gear. That looks like a pretty bad one. Hey, come look at this track, Daryl. See if it's a hog track. Hmm. Well, now if you had a better impression, I mean, it looks, it looks pretty hoggish to me. It does look hoggy. If I had to guess, I'd say 100 percent. I'm 75 percent certain that's a hog. <laughs> Man, I can't believe this worm hadn't got touched yet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. <laughs> he inhaled the worm as soon as it got in the water. I gotta tighten the drag. Holy moly. It's doing okay. I mean, it's a tiny fish. Me and Daryl over here talking. And there he is. We got to boat flip him and everything. Yeah, that's wow. good eating size there. That's good eating size. And that might be cull size these days. Wow, the, the hook fell right out. That's the hook out of that little tackle box that we had. Let it be known that this combo, this reel did hold up to a one pound bass. But I had the drag like maxed out and it was still getting pulled out. Yeah. That's kind of wacky. That's a beautiful little fish though. In the wintertime, these bass really, they're so clean, they're, they're freezing cold. But hey, that's one fish down, folks. And the old Shakespeare, I think it did, it did okay for what we asked out of it. I might flick this little thing around, Daryl, and try to catch a big old brim. Yeah, I remember the infomercial days seeing them. Yeah. Old pocket rods on the infomercials, yeah. Let's just see what she can do. Oh, that's not where I was aiming at all. All right, let me see if I can actually get this thing out there. There we go. Dude, look how far that went. Oh, I cast it off. Oh, it no, that was just the whole spool. That was a spool. You spooled him. Dang it. <laughs> what happened? Dang oh, it. So much for that. They didn't have it tied off dinner. Come on, pocket combo. Wow, that thing's pretty strong. Yeah, no kidding. Let's see if I still got bait on this thing. And there's a train coming through, apparently. Oh, yeah. I see that stinky red head. We need to put some of that crawfish stuff on the head, I think. There we go. That's it. That's it. Right there. All right. Got that rebated, repositioned. I know where one's at. Oh. I see that in the pond. This reel might be the worst bait casting reel I've ever used in it my life. Like it. Okay, let's get that other inline spinner out of our handy dandy tackle box that we're using to hold everything. There we go, that's a little better right there. It stayed attached to the fishing rod this time. Let's see if the blade spins, because that was like the number one complaint. Dude, the blade spins fine. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that thing is spinning like crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, we were on. We were on for a second. On the inline spinner, we were just on. And man, what in the world's going on? Maybe the hooks aren't any good. Well, Although I didn't see any complaints about the hooks. They were all about Shakespeare. It's starting to cast a little bit better. I will give it a little bit of credit. Now I say that and it's gonna explode the next time I cast it really hard, but I gotta give credit where credit's due. We also gotta remember to keep an eye on that rod over there, although I'm sure Daryl would holler out. Mm, I hate to say it, but I'm seeing some of the complaints from the inline spinner. Well, if you don't retrieve it a certain way, it definitely doesn't wanna do what it should be doing. Hey. 
Oh, what am I on? We can't lose the inline spinner, man. Oh. Casualties of the pawn, we got it back. Dude, we got so lucky just there. All right, so we got that catfish rod still soaking in the pond. We're taking a chance, we're taking a risk by leaving it, but we're just gonna shoot down to the backyard swamp area really quickly, because there are a lot of different fish down there in the swamp, and that inline spinner, or maybe even that frog, could catch one of them. You, Dick, dude. You haven't been down with me in a while, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, well, you might want to get tight. Cool. Ah, get tight. Stay tight. Made it. <laughs> I swear I keep hearing something. And there's definitely a path here that was not made by me. It's just like these, these giant humps that you don't, know, you don't know what's underneath. Like that is so scary. Cause I know what alligators do. Like they get like burrowed up in that. Okay, I, I haven't slipped into the abyss yet. Well, this is a good vantage point right here. That, see, that's where we need to be. That is the area. Dude, the swamp is just not it, man. This used to be such a honey hole for Bram and other different species. Well, it's okay. We need to get back and check on our catfish rod anyways. So let's go do that. Okay, thank God. The catfish rod is still here. Man, this has uh, been a beat down so far, dude. And my fishing ability needs some one star reviews after this. I cannot believe this inline spinner is not getting touched. I mean, that's just, that's ridiculous. Yeah. This combo, I have to admit, is definitely a one star combo. Just based on the reel, the rod seems fine. This little reel right here has been my least favorite by far. Drag is weird. Casting is not great. That little combo, the catfish combo, has been fine, but we haven't been able to test it yet. And the pocket combo is sitting back here in the back of the buggy because we spooled ourselves with the first initial cast somehow. I'm gonna start tossing around this little crazy buzz bait. Let's see what this thing looks like in the water. Dude, this thing looks like an absolute train wreck. I will say that. Yeah, it don't look good. Just the way the blade is angled, like that can't work right. Look at the skirt. I mean, the skirt's on there with like a, like a cheap little rubber band. I mean, that's going to come off in two seconds. Now, let's just put this thing out there. I just want to see the basic movement. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're under the water. Yeah, we're under it. We are nowhere near the top of the water. Look at that. Oh, man. That's bad. I mean, you can see how freaking wonky this thing is. It looks like a curveball. This blade needs to be like more parallel to the water like that. I bet you what I just did is already going to make a pretty big difference. There we go. At least now it's trying the buzz bait. It's trying. Ooh, don't really have a great blade spin on it. Ugh, man, that is just. Yeah, that's bad. Ugh. There we go. It's starting to do a little something. That's what we need it to do, is just something like that. Something. I also bought two different top water lures when the water temp is 52, so that was just not that smart. Oh my lord, our bird's nested. Oh, no. This, look at what's happening. Dude. What? Oh my gosh. The line broke on the spool. Man, I just tied that lure on, dude. Come on. What, what even is this? How, where's my tag end? Look, look, dude, look at this. <laughs> yeah, that'll what, make sense. What's, okay, there it is. Holy moly. One star is a very appropriate rating for this thing. Holy moly. Along with that buzz bait. Jeez. All right. Day one sucked, but I think day two is going to be a lot better. Let's see how these stinky catfish prefer some shrimp. Because apparently that dead cut shad was just not doing it for them. go catfish cove baby oh dude. dude i thought i was on with the whale 
Dude, this thing is like really not doing its job now. The blade has stopped spinning almost completely now when you reel it in. Uh-oh. This is what the reviews warned us about, Andrew. One use, and that's it. That's not ideal. That's not what we're looking for here. Dang it, I was defending the inline spinner too. Yeah, look at it. It's yeah. just like kind of just flatly just rolling. All right, what I got right here, I tied on a little Guggen Squad crankbait really quick just because I want to hook this into a fish. At the end of the day, we want to know how this combo responds to being hooked into a big fish. Wow, I can cast that a whole lot farther. <laughs> and one of the reviews said that this was a good cranking setup, but nothing else. Oh, I'm on. I'm all, oh, oh wow. Dude, it's it's swimming really hard from side to side. Oh, 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 oh he spit it. Dang, I knew that was going to happen. I could feel every single head shake of that fish. Hey, you know what, though? This combo actually handled that fish semi well. That was only a pound and a half or so, not that big of an accomplishment, but. I think whoever commented this thing was good for cranking and nothing else, I think that guy, he had it figured out. Okay, well, there's some signs of life here on day two at least. We gotta keep our eye on that catfish rod over there because the further we walk over here looking for bass, I mean, the worst position we're gonna be to save that poor rod over there, it's gonna be all by itself in that rod holder. The casting on this thing has certainly improved now that we've added a heavier lure but it's still trying to mess up on me i don't know i don't think i'd like to have this thing in my hand day in and day out unless i had to if this was my only option then you know what it'd be fine oh my gosh upon resale oh do you hear that and i'm snagged dude i am the snaggiest mcsnaggerson in the history of Snagtown. The only thing I've fought the last two days is timber. What about a little jig on this casting combo? That way, when we get a bite, or if we get a bite, I'll have to actually like throw a hook set with this little medium power noodle here and uh, see exactly how much power she's got. I got a fish. Here comes the hook set. Oh my God, he dropped it. I was trying to wait to set the hook and that was a mistake. That's so weird. He just, I think one just had it in his mouth and he just dropped it. Come on, there should be something right there. Oh, there was. There he is. I'm going to get him this time. Oh, I got him. Oh, Amen, dude. duck him with the hook set. Go for the flip. Yes. Ice cold fish, mouth full of jig. There he is. Dude, did you see that hook set right yes, there? Sir. I put everything I had into it. And the rod and reel held up. Look at my guy right there. Oh, he's trying to fish slap somebody, you can tell. He's actually kind of weirdly shaped. He's got like a noggin on him. Like he has a super noggin. He's domed up. See ya, buddy. Okay, Ozark Trail, I see you. I take back some of the things that I said about you. I think I'm ready to render my product rating on this thing right there. I thought about giving it a one star out of five, and I want to, but because of that display that I just put on right there, hook setting didn't break, flipping it in didn't break, beating down brush. I mean, the thing has not broken, so I'm gonna give it a two star review, okay? A slight upgrade from most of the people that commented on this thing. This is a two star combo right here, folks, because after all, it only costs $40. I cannot believe we have not caught a catfish on this combo. That's two days in a row of trying. It's like they've all disappeared. And we still have this combo right here that had the two star rod and like the three star reel. And we've got to put this combo to the test still too. Since we haven't been able to use this rod and reel that much because it's been sitting in a catfish holder, we're gonna tie a little jerk bait on here, which is like a cheat code this time of year, and actually work this combo some and hopefully catch a fish. Let's try to cast this. Okay, that was all right, that was fine. That was okay. I didn't really necessarily like it. That's okay.
Oh, dude, I see bass. I see bass. I see bass. I'm gonna throw. The, I throw the jerk bait at him. I just saw like three or four. I can kind of still see him. I'll try to put this jerk bait in front of their face. They're like out this way now. In this little fishing kit, if you guys will remember, there was also a, like a couple random lures, and there was these bad boys right here. Raise your hand if you know what this is. This right here, folks, is a beetle spin, and it is a fish catching machine, pretty much. It's just a mini little spinner bait, honestly, but this thing can catch bass, can catch brim, bluegill, any type of other panfish, really could catch anything. Oh yeah doing its little beetle spin thing doesn't have the best action this isn't like the name brand beetle spin this is just whatever they had in that kit it's not the greatest thing on planet earth but we already knew that wow what an adventure so i already gave you my personal two star rating for that bait caster walmart combo Let's quickly rate the rest of the equipment that we found. I'm gonna say this little joker right here. I mean, we didn't even hardly get to use it. We spooled ourselves with the first cast, lost all of our line. The reel exploded the moment we touched it in the man cave. Uh, I wish the little telescopic rod piece was a little bit longer. Like, why would you make a telescopic, why would you make the rod telescopic and then only have one section? Yeah, like, that don't make sense. It just seems odd. Like, put one more section in there so we can get like a, you know, that yep. little bit extra length. I'm gonna have to give this thing a solid one star review. Maybe even like a half star, but I'm gonna give it one star just because I know the Proficiency brand. And I'm sure they're not bad people, but this product needs to go back to the drawing board. Now as for this little Shakespeare reel right here, this thing was obviously the cheapest one. I mean, you could feel it when you cast, when you reel, making a lot of different noises. The drag wasn't great, but it caught a fish. Let us not forget that. It didn't fall apart at any point in time. So I'm gonna give this little beautiful Shakespeare reel a two-star review. And I think that's pretty fair. Now for this rod and this reel, this combo that we put together, I'm gonna leave it undetermined at this time. So no stars out of five, because we weren't able to link into a fish or to link up with a fish and hook into one to really test it. But casting was fine, retrieval was fine. I really wanted to put this thing versus a giant catfish, but apparently the otters have eaten every catfish that I have. I'm not gonna go lure by lure and rate all of them. I'm just gonna say they pretty much all lived up to the anti-hype that we were seeing online, except for maybe the scum frog. The scum frog was fine. I'm not really sure why it had such bad reviews. Everything else was definitely not the greatest, but you know what? I truly believe that every single one of those things we bought today, if you put it in the right situation or you put it in the hands of the right angler, not me, they're probably gonna work at least once and catch a fish. So I can't be that harsh on any of this gear that we got. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, remember there is a like goal of 10,000 likes on this video and we will run this challenge back at a different store. We will find all the badly rated fishing products and put them to use in a different location, hopefully when the fishing's a little bit better. Folks, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.